What's going on guys, Snake Eyes here playing some more Dark Souls 2 and in this video I'm going to show you how to parry and repost and the reason that I'm making this video is because parrying and reposting is actually different this time around in Dark Souls 2. Uh, the way that it was in the first Dark Souls and Demon Souls was all you had to do was right before the enemy attacked, if you parried, all you had to do was just push R1 and it'll deal the uh, critical damage that it was supposed to. But this time around it's a little different and I'll explain that a little bit more into detail. But the reason I'm also making this video was because a viewer of mine actually asked me how to do it and uh, thinking back I wasn't too sure if I replied or not and I'm having a hard time finding that comment and if I didn't reply it was mainly because it simply got overlooked. Um, I apologize for that. Uh, I have been doing a lot of crazy things lately and you know if I meant to go back to that comment and I didn't then uh, that's my bad but I hope this video makes up for it and I hope it answers your question but um right now what I recommend doing is going into a starting area um, if you're leveled up enough so that way you don't really have to worry about dying and it's also to kind of get your timing down because um, like I said it's a little bit more difficult but not too much difficult it's just different and um, there's a learning curve to it that's pretty much all there is to it and um, another thing that I recommend is that if you're having trouble with the timing to use something like a parrying dagger or a target shield basically these things um, make the parrying frames a little bit longer so there's a bigger time window as far as when you can actually hit the parry um, even the animation itself is a little bit uh, slower which also means that you can um, parry there's a bigger open time frame for that but uh, right here is just a regular parry from a shield that I use every day and then this is the parry from the parry dagger and this is also the parry from the target shield the target shield is a little bit slower than the uh, regular shield but uh, that's what it's made for and the downfall to these things is this doesn't have 100% physical damage reduction so you can't really use this um, every day but I definitely recommend learning how to parry because a lot of these bosses can actually be parried. So that's something that you might want to take note of. And um, it's all around just a good thing to learn how to do. But uh, right now we're actually going to go down and fight some of these people. So that way we can um, see if we can hit a couple parries. But um, I will say that I'm not the greatest at parrying. So the um so i might make a couple mistakes because i'm all around i didn't really practice it too much when when it was um when it was available to me in dark souls but um basically after he falls to the ground all you have to do is just walk up to him and hit r1 if you hit r1 any sooner than that then it won't work and you won't get the critical hit damage um you have to make sure that he falls down otherwise like I said it just won't work you can pair this up with a lot of items like the Leo ring and actually get a bonus on the critical hit damage but uh, that's completely up to you and if, if that's how you're uh, feeling but uh, right again you got a pretty big time uh, window frame from when you can actually just walk up and do it so don't feel rushed or anything like that just take your time and make sure you do it right uh, I'm gonna see if I can hit a parry with a regular shield this guy was kind of being an asshole to me and was doing a lot of overhead attacks um, another thing also is if you don't hit the parry um, if it's like a partial hit basically what it'll do is just chip off a little bit of damage and um, and it won't work but um, that's one of the attacks that I just can't seem to time right and then he follows it up with just a lot of stuff that I'm not um, that I'm not really used to but as you can see like I said I'm still not the greatest at it but that's pretty much how you do it um, yeah, like I said, I'm really not the greatest at it, but I'm going to keep practicing, and that's something that I definitely recommend for a lot of you guys to do, too, because it's just all around something good that you want to have um, have on you just in case if you need to do it. Either for, you know, maybe you just can't dodge or, you know, any other reason, really, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I kind of stretched that one out a little too long, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, take care.